Hi, I'm Dave Mars with Conservation Tips. You know, one way to eliminate that incessant chore of cleaning out your gutters and downspouts of all the leaves that drop down throughout the various times of the year is to eliminate it altogether. The difficulty, though, is that you have no way to catch the stormwater and deliver it away from the foundation wall, and it might end up costing you a lot more than just the gutters and downspouts would. Let's take a look. One of the major consequences of not having any gutters or having gutters and downspots that are full and overflowing is that you can create pockets like this around your foundation wall. When this occurs, the mud will stay here, the, the foundation in the house, of course, is very heavy once you settle. You're going to get foundation cracks will occur. You can also get a lot of humidity to wick inside the home, causing doors and windows not to uh, fit properly. Uh, so you need to kind of assess the situation for your house. Take a walk around the perimeter and see if there's ways you can take care of that. And now you can see the overall effects of that water pounding along the foundation wall here over time. Another low spot here, water's going to enter. Perhaps a good strategy on this side of the house would be to trench out an area here, take the soil, put it up against the foundation wall, put it in the ground cover, keep it from eroding away, and perhaps fill the pathway with some heavy gravel so that it will flow through to the backyard and away from the foundation. If we don't get away from the foundation, I'm going to show you what can happen. Well, we're at our crawl space opening here. Let's take this plywood off and see what we got inside. Okay. Now this house has been properly weatherized. We have insulation underneath the floor up in here. We have any ductwork going through here. We got insulation wrapped around it. And we also have this plastic sheeting down here. This film is a vapor barrier. Now we do this on homes because we want to keep that moisture from wicking up into the house because it not only causes the structural problems we are talking about before, but it will also raise your air conditioning costs. It takes twice the amount of energy to dehumidify and cool you. So once we get this dry in here, you might in fact aid that drying by pulling this plastic back and exposing the soil and then you know consider adding a crawl space vent to help air that out all summer long without having critters be able to get into such an opening. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. This is the crawl space vent you can find at the hardware store. It's openable so you close it during the winter time you want those cold air to come in and we can open it in the summertime to get the humidity out. Fairly simple to install especially in a plywood crawl space opening like this. If you want just to take your pencil, trace around it. Make sure it's low enough to clear any lumber that might be back in that area there. And then we simply drill a hole. have to add a little trim board around here to secure this in place. But you can see how it operates. Pull out this lever like this, and that'll let some air through it during the summertime. Keep that crawl space a lot drier. So let's put this in place here. You know, make sure the perimeter is nice and tight so no critters are going to get in there. This makes it very easy to open that up in the summertime. This is a screen here to keep bugs from coming in. You get a lot of air through here. That'll help dry out that crawl space, which will help you dry out the soil, which will help you save years of life of the house by falling into the mud, as well as lower your air conditioner costs. And in the wintertime, it's very simply done. You close it up, There's a little catch on it there, and that'll take care of the wintertime. So you can see it's pretty easy to put in a crawl space vent and help get some of the humidity out. Now if you don't have any convenient opening like this to put one in, you can go up to the rim joist here, cut through, and put a, a vent up here. You want to get some cross ventilation so it's good for the whole summertime. If we do that, we're going to lower the air conditioning costs and save the life of your house. This is Dave Mars with the Conservation Tips. I'll see you next time.